Welcome back. So I have another auction win that finally reached my door. And this one comes from Goldberg Coins and Collectibles out of Los Angeles, California. This is a lot that I don't usually bid on. But the price was just too good to pass up. And I figured at this point, let me buy it and let me try and pay for some of the actual PC through a little bit of profit on it. Plus it's just fun to A, have these on this channel, but also to, personally to be able to hold these uh, types of items in my hand, however briefly that may be. So it's a very small lot, just one lot. I did bid on a few other things, but did not was not successful with those. Some of the things I was actually targeting for PC. But sometimes that's how it goes. So this is a lot of three signatures. Only one is authenticated. But fortunately, it is the most expensive one of the three. So as you can see, there is a portrait of an individual in front of you. Some of you may have already figured out who it is. A lot of you probably haven't. But this is actually Calvin Coolidge former president of the United States and there is a signed White House card of Calvin Coolidge so again this one does not come with authentication but given the big one was authenticated I have little doubt that uh, some of the other ones will be these other two will be fine Next up, a card from the Executive Mansion, and this is the last man to be elected president who also served in the Civil War, and that is William McKinley, who was assassinated in 1901. Got a little bit dirty on this one. But the signature looks good. I'm by no means an expert on presidential signatures. But it looks good. Hopefully it will pass authentication. Which, again, given that the most expensive item in the slot did, I'm pretty confident that this one will, as well as the Coolidge. So what is the most expensive one in this lot? With a letter from JSA. And this is a lot easier to figure out. So Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR. Really nice, clean signature on a White House card. So obviously it looks like it was stacked with other cards, given the outline that's on it. Or it was in a frame of some kind. But this comes with a full letter of authentication from JSA which was conducted in March of 2021. So obviously they took the time to get this cleared before the auction. I was happy to have this. This is, I'm estimating, and I don't know prices of presidential autos that well, but given the clarity of this auto, and it's a White House card, this will probably cover the whole lot, and the other two presidential autos will be profit. And I think that's being fairly conservative. So, not a huge lot, not a ton to it, but it is, after all, three presidential autos. You have, let's see if we can get them all in one shot here. Coolidge, Roosevelt, and McKinley, one executive mansion card, so old White House card, and two White House cards for Coolidge and Roosevelt. So that is the lot. It's a nice, fun one. Again, it is a privilege to be able to hold history like this. And to be able to have it in my hand. I know not everyone is this fortunate 
to do so and frankly I've been very lucky not only in being able to buy these but be able to find them at a price that I could buy them so I'm very happy with the results of this auction when I look forward to finding homes for these autos into different collections where they'll truly be appreciated and then I definitely look forward to taking those funds and finding some some items that I will be appreciated in my own PC so anyway that is the slightly different auction lot for today more stuff coming on the way but it's much much further out um, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit before getting those on video so anyway that's what I got for you this time around and until next time please remember to collect what you enjoy enjoy what you collect and don't let anybody especially the market or youtuber dictate that to you and most importantly have fun and have fun by being active in this community so find your way of participating whether it's making videos watching and commenting going to live streams group chats going to your lcs or local card show or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends the more you put into it the more you'll get out of it the more you learn the more your pc will grow the more people you'll meet and the more fantastic friendships you'll form so i thank you very much for joining me hope to see you again have a good one, and bye for now.